I had a couple guys in uh, my videos ask how I figure uh, ignition timing on these saws. Um, I don't advance the new saws that much. The Pama systems on the new Echoes is quite aggressive, so you can only go a couple degrees um, without it. Basically, it sounds like it's misfiring. It'll pop, it'll bang, it's, it's, it's pre-detonation. Um, it's hard on the crank, it's hard on the wrist bearing. Um, you'll actually end up losing power, but if you get it perfect, you'll gain a little bit of torque, you'll get your cylinder pressures up. Um, this might be unpopular, but on the newer saws, I'd, I don't really think it belongs too much in, in, uh, in wood sport saws on the newer stuff, um, just because you, nothing's consistent. You might be running 87 one day, you might be running 100 another day, it might be 100 degrees one day or 30 degrees the next, there's too many variables. If you're running hot saws or, or trying to win a race, I can see dialing it in with the same fuel, same temperatures, all that stuff, but uh, for wood sport saws, and this might be unpopular, I don't think it's hardly worth messing with. But I will show how I figure it out. Um, right now I've got a mark right here and a mark on the flywheel, so I can see about where top dead center is. That just gives me an idea where, in relation where I'm gonna be making my marks on the side of the saw when it's running. Uh, this will be loud, so apologize in advance, and it's also kind of a pain to start them like this, but, we make do with what we got. take it off this put my timing wheel on it and see exactly where the timing is before top dead center in relation to the rpm and i'll cut to that so here we have the saw on the wheel sitting at top dead center you can see where my flywheel mark is this is idle right there that mark that is rotated clockwise um, basically before top dead center and we are at, let's see here, about 13, 14 degrees before top dead center on idle. At max revs, we're gonna rotate it to my mark here before top dead center. And it looks like we're about 27 degrees. Now I did have this all the way out to about 32 and it, it pound, it just popped, banged, wouldn't rev right. Um, uh, like I said, the the ignition advance on these stock is is very aggressive. So we're looking at about 27, 27 and a half, 28 degrees stock ignition advance on the CS7310, which is is very aggressive. 25, 28, 29 on a work saw is is about where you want to be. Anyway, that's a little bit in how I check the timing on these things and make adjustments for repeatability of performance. Thanks for watching.